Hello friends and welcome again to D Tech Tips. I'm Adeli here and in this video we'll be learning how to block access you know uh, to our website from certain countries or probably from certain continents using the .htss file in our WordPress website. So as soon as you launch your website and the website is now live, it's available for users to start visiting the website and then engaging with the website. You need to control your site access, especially in a situation you want to stop spammers and hackers from particular countries. Or probably you want to limit your audience targeting to a particular continent or country. So fortunately, you can use your WordPress.htsf file to do just that. Um, you can block visitors from specific countries or probably allow visitors from specific countries or either way you, you want to have it. Here is how to get things done. So the first thing is to proceed to a browser. We'll be using a particular website, countryipblocks.net country ipblocks.net right there so as soon as we are on the website we come to the right hand side of the website you can see select format so the first option says select apache.htss deny then apache.htss allow so basically what this means is that the first one deny so you can use that function to deny traffic from certain countries then the next one is apache.ht access allow which basically allows you to you know to authorize access from visitors from certain countries so basically on our website we are blocking uh, traffic from China and Germany so we'll be picking deny for this tutorial so once we are done with that we just scroll down to find the countries we need to deny access on the list right here okay it's China then Germany is right here because recently we've been getting a lot of spam traffic and boats coming from these two countries so we just want to block access from these countries however you can as well block access to your website by continent for example you can block access to your website from asia or block access to your website from africa so basically what this means is that all countries under asia or europe or each of these continents will not have access to your website if you choose to block them and you can as well choose to allow them for example you can choose to allow africa uh, traffic alone or probably allow europe traffic alone so whatever the case may be once you are done selecting you just go ahead and click on create a cl right here so here is our acl result consisting of all addresses from these two countries that's Germany and then um, China however there might be some IP addresses that are not here so as soon as you are getting those IP addresses from uh, inside of your website and you are verifying that they are from China or they are not adding value to your website you can just ask them to this list and have it updated on your .ht access file to block you know future access to the website so we'll just go ahead and click on copy acl to clipboard copy acl to clipboard then we proceed to our website just log in right to my website yeah Okay, so we are now right inside of our dashboard. 
and uh, I'll be adding the the code to copy the IP addresses we copied earlier. I'll be adding them to the .htaccess file using the SEO plugin RankMath. But in a situation that you are not using RankMath on your website, uh, you can as well add the code to your .htaccess file using FTP or probably directly via cPanel. Just log on to cPanel, then go to File Manager. Then in your directory, your website directory, you want to find the .htaccess file. Open it up and then copy the code just this way. So I'll go ahead and click on General Settings. Then on the left menu here, you can see edit.htss. You just click on that. There's a little bit of warning here that says be careful when editing HSS why it's easy to make mistake and all of that. So before we can have access to edit the file, we need to click on I understand the risk and want to edit the file. So we'll just go ahead and click on that. And then once we are done, we want to scroll down to Yes, where we see module close tag right here, right here, just before end WordPress, before hash end WordPress. So we'll just we'll just paste the code right inside there. It might take uh, some milliseconds to copy all of the IP addresses into the HTSS file. Now it's done. So once it's done, we just go ahead and save it. So the process might take a little bit of time because there are a lot of you know those addresses and it has to just uh, save it all on the website so now that um, we have saved changes if you try to access probably you use a vpn and change to any of these addresses probably china and the ip address you know consists of the ones that we've disallowed here you would not be able to have access to the website so if you cannot access your website, you know, with your own IP address now, you want to just go ahead and check for your IP address on Google and see if your IP address is not one of the IP address that are currently being blocked. So if it happens that your IP address is currently being blocked, all you have to do is just use the control F function to find your IP address on your .htaccess file and then have it removed from inside of the file so that you can have access to your website or probably you can use a vpn to change your ip address so that you can have access to your website you've learned the easy way to block all visitors from specific countries i'll see you soon thank you